Hey guys, it's Kush from Macro Pro Shop. Here to uh, tell you other guys a little bit about one of the events we're selling tickets to on our website. As you guys may know, we sell a lot of uh, MagFit only game tickets all around the country every month. The main one to know about though is Dominion MFOG. This is an annual scenario event hosted by ODSC in Southern California and it's hosted at Jungle Island. This is a premier paintball park in Southern California and it's uh, a hood to be, to be shooting uh, MagFit at. So we get a lot of questions and a lot of emails on this event. So we thought we'd make a series of videos for you guys on everything you need to know prior to coming to the event. Everything from the storyline, registration, check-in, camping, night game, raffle, and anything else you need to know. So tune into this series of videos, starting with the storyline, to uh, get more informed about Dominion and Fog. So in this video, we're going to go over the storyline of Dominion and Fog. To know a little bit about this year's storyline, you've got to learn last year's. This event is hosted at Jungle Island in the city of Lake Elsinore. It's now year 2076, and the lake is called El Lago Muerto, the Lake of the Dead. And it, the California has now seceded from the Union and is being run by a Mexican general called Sancho the Milkman Caballo. He's a ruthless dictator that is controlling the water and weapons in California to keep the people at bay. There is a coalition in the east of some few states that are looking to take him down. These guys are called United Eastern Coalition. They're playing the good guys. Although they're the good guys, they're not any more or any less ruthless than him. So in the fight over water rights, weapons, currency, and power, there is a weapons cartel that's profiting from all this. They're called La Machina de Guerra, the war machine. And to understand the concept, you have to see that they're the puppet masters behind this whole conflict. As this fight goes on between East and West, they profit either way. So they, their interest is to keep the wars from ending. Hence the storyline, wars don't end in all the last year's uh, posters. So this year, as you know, Sancho Caballo was beaten by UEC and he was pushed back and exiled. However, in, in their interests, La Machina had rescued Sancho. In the video trailer that you guys saw on YouTube, you can see that he was freed by a couple of operatives of La Machina. So he's now the general of La Machina, but he's also their puppet. So he's going to be running the game uh, and, and making sure that La Machina gets the most profits by selling weapons, by selling drugs, by selling uh, mercenary forces to either side, missiles, artillery, all kinds of stuff that could make the game go one side or the another. So to understand this storyline, you have to really dig into all the posters that we put up to understand everybody's roles. You have to look at some of the stuff from last year. This is a very complex scenario. It's not your typical, you know, capture the flag sort of thing. There's a lot of multi-step uh, props that are put in. Uh, so there's an objective, but to, to get captured that objective or to accomplish your mission, you have these little smaller missions. You have to get the microchips and get the nuclear uh, rods and get all this stuff so you can eventually build your bomb and then you have your uh, bomb to go place and La Machina has mercenary forces that will fight as a third faction for whatever side pays the most and it's really like real life you could you could uh, you know get in the way of some drug deals you could uh, make your own drug deals you can go rob a caravan uh, you know, while the missiles are going somewhere, you can go stop them. You could, um, you could play dirty. You could play nice. 
uh, it's really up to you to uh, be the hero. So tune into the next video as we talk about registration and some places you can get information on this event.